Today we're testing out the Renogy Rover Boost. And this is a 10 amp output solar charge controller, which is very special in its own right. What this does is it takes a low voltage array or a single solar panel and it will boost the voltage so you can charge 48 volt nominal battery banks which means you could even charge e-bike batteries with a small solar panel, which makes it very unique. There are not many options like this on the market. And it's pretty simple. On this side, we have the input, which connects to the solar panels. And then we have the output that connects to the battery. And on the side, we have communication ports, a temp sensor input for temp coefficient compensation, and then a battery input for voltage sensing purposes. And you can program it with this set button. And it's crazy to see the PV input voltage range 15 to 25 volts. So you could use large 12 volt panels, connect it to this, and then charge a 48 volt battery at 10 amps. Which means at 48 volt nominal, you can connect 650 watts of solar panel power. And the max input current is 35 amps. So this thing can power a pretty large size system. And today we're gonna to install this in my solar golf cart because a big problem with the golf cart is I need a higher voltage panel to charge the battery because it's 48 volts. But this will enable me to use a low voltage 80 or 100 watt solar panel on the roof of that golf cart and then it can trickle charge the batteries with this controller. And today we're gonna to test the coolest flexible solar panel on the market. This is a actual SIGS solar panel which is used for military application. In the past, these for like a 100 watt cost about a thousand dollars so I told people if you can afford it that's awesome but for most people they can't but now for an 80 watt you can buy these for $250 and unlike other flex panels on the market which I tell people to avoid like the plague these can actually last for a very very long time and because this is a thin film, you can actually bend this. It will not crack like the other cheap ones on the market. And if I were to shoot a bullet right here, I would have less output, but it would still work. These can actually handle shading very nicely. If I were to cover half of this with shade, it would only produce 50% of its rated output. Also, these cells can be flush mounted to your roof. They handle the heat very nicely. And the newer six panels have a very good output for their size. Previously, the output was pretty bad, but there have been changes over time, and these ones actually produce quite a bit of power for the surface area. So anyways, I'm super excited. I've always wanted to have one of these panels. So yeah, let's hook it up. So first I wash the roof with soap and water, I let it dry, and then I use rubbing alcohol because you need this to be very clean so that the solar panel will stick. I never thought I would even see one of these panels. These are the best, man. Now we need to connect the solar charge controller to the battery of the golf cart. Now I add some wires to the solar charge controller. We have 12 gauge going out to a circuit breaker. And then we have some extension leads for the solar input. So now it's connected to the inverter circuit and the solar input leads go through this hole and connect to this beam. The wires come up this beam and secure right here with a zip tie and then go onto the roof. And we have green lights on the side and it is charging right now. And now it's connected and it's charging, but this battery bank is at a high state of charge. So I need to use some of the battery so we can increase this charge rate. By the way, check out the solar trailer. It's powering my jacuzzi right now. How cool is that? It's been producing tons of power. I'll have to do a video update soon, but this thing is great. I love it. We're charging with 21 watts right now. There's a lot of clouds in the sky though, and it's at a high state of charge, so let's keep driving. Actually, right now the sun just came out, and we're producing 38 watts. That also includes the standby consumption of this golf cart when it's on, so that's pretty good so far. So the weather is getting worse and we have less sunshine available, because the max I can get is 43 watts right now. 
And yeah, I'll just come back on a sunny day and we'll make another video about it. But this system now works. I do not need to plug this in ever again. I just have to park this out in the sun for a couple days and I'll get a fully charged battery. This battery is pretty big, so let's see how long it would take. It would take 68 hours in full sunshine. We have six hours at this latitude, so it would take 11 days to fully charge this battery. I can also still use the charge controller in this MPP inverter charger, and so I can still use my four 400 watt array over there. That way I'd have 480 watts. And that would only take two days to charge. And that will give me 47 miles of range. And I never drive it for more than two miles at a time, so this is complete overkill. For my application, I can get by with using the 80 watt panel all by itself. I don't need to hook it up to the external panel at all. Mainly I use my golf cart to power power tools that are far away from my house. So this will work perfectly. So now all we need is airless tires and this will be the perfect dystopian vehicle. There's literally nothing that it needs. There's no oil to change. I can work on it and it can go 47 miles on a single charge and it can go off road. So if I add airless tires, I probably can't go off road, but man, this thing is great. During summer, I'm not gonna leave it out in the sun though because it will cook the batteries. I'm gonna keep it under the livestock shade and then run some wires to that solar panel array because I don't want these batteries to cook. That's like the only downside of adding a solar panel to the roof of a golf cart is that the batteries will get way too hot out here, at least in the desert. It's gonna be like 120 degrees out here. For the rest of the year, like nine months, I can leave this outside no problem. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video and we will do more testing with these solar panels I want to try to destroy them and see how well they work and then we'll do full output testing as well when the Sun reaches a higher angle But yeah, I hope you guys like the video and I will talk to you later. Bye